father does not visit here anymore. He sees no profit in it. But I am not yet ready to give up. You are Esir. I am. I have seen images of the future. Heard the voices of those who will come after us. Voices from... in there? Yes. I leave them words. Little packets of possibility, waiting for unknown ears, many ages hence. What do these future voices say? They seek the wisdom of the past. They speak of things to come. But even they cannot turn the tide of Ragnarok. There is to be a feast in my honor. Your father sent me to fetch you. No, not yet. Listen. I want you to hear the voices. Are you there, Prophet? Can you hear me? Perhaps another day. Another thread. Come. We must not keep father waiting. Who are you? Ooh. Winter's knife cuts deep, and sky pearls fall thick in this land. It... it is cold out here. How can that surprise you? I... haven't been outside in... I don't know how long. You are devoted to your work. Not my work, my responsibility. My people ignore the disaster bearing down on them. Someone must do something. We have long searched for a solution, until the burden of it has bent my mind. I do not think as clearly as I once did. I've heard there's one method still untested. There is, but to activate it would mean defiling our well of knowledge, from which all of Midgard drinks. There is no telling the change it would wreak on humankind. It would bring chaos at the least, and I do not wish to hurt them. Even if it means the death of all Jotun? We will find another way. We must. This land is quite beautiful. I had all but forgotten. are kept. Such things would do great harm in the hands of evil people. Ah, foreshadowing. Our stone walls will defend us when Ragnarok comes. All we have built here will be swept away. its very walls. The wind and snow have gnawed that tower to the bone. Soon, we will knock it down. Everyone just shrunk. Jose did. Yeah, they're shrinking. Your feast is prepared. I hope it pleases you. 
You are generous and hospitable indeed, great Sutungur. None can say otherwise. And see, your gift stands in pride of place, brimming with freshly fermented mead. Enough for a hundred Yotnar and more. This is an unexpected honor. You have filled it already with mead from your vault, then? No need. It has filled itself. Such is the magic of the cauldron. Impressive. But what if it should run out of meat? Do you hear this? <laughs> Harvey fears he will drink us dry. <laughs> my cauldron is deep, but my vault is deeper. Do not worry about my stores of mead. I have plenty to go around. Father, you know revelry does not suit me. Must I attend this feast? I have work to do. Your work can wait, my daughter. Take a moment, enjoy yourself. Father, we have very little time. Enjoy yourself. I insist. Harvey, the guests are uneasy. They see an Aesir, but they do not know you. Will you address them? I'm ready. Now, we will hear from our honored guest. The Lord of the Aesir has come in peace and brought us a mighty gift. Attend. I am Harvey. Deft of tongue and quick of wits, here to spin you a tale. Your stories are wasted on them. They respect deeds, not hollow talk. Though our people are enemies, I come here to do you honor. For I know that none feast nor fight like Yotna. Your words are well chosen. I could go on, but who wants to hear words when there's meat and meat to be had? You know your audience well, it seems. Now we will drink deep and eat heartily. Let the feast begin! The guests are not drinking fast enough. Perhaps I can speed things along. Sotunger is keen of mind, but he does not have a heart. Right food will inspire thirst. I should head to the kitchen. I should. Harvey! Show us your might! Beat our champion, and we will drain our horns in your honor. Bring me this champion, and I will shine my knuckles on his jawbone. Behold! Do not mock me. I will not fight a withered old crone. <laughs> if you are too afraid to face her, well, that is that. If she is truly your champion, then so be it. I will try not to break her brittle bones, but I promise nothing. Who will challenge a champion? Who of the you is brave enough? Don't be scared of that grumpy. Oh, it strips, stabbed her. Nobody knows. My lambs hit harder than you. Indeed, you are mighty. You have fought old age and won. No one has ever done that before. Drink to me then, as you promised you would. All of you, empty your horns for heavy. The mead is half gone. An egg here's cauldron can be drained. Nobody's ever beaten the champion. Humans kept in bondage, bred to serve. Such is the fate of the lowly. No guests in the kitchen. Out! I don't know how to get in there. I've seen musicians. Where's the music? Somber souls will only sip at their drinking horns. Conjure us a tune to raise their spirits. We are keen, but my harp has been stolen. We cannot play without it. 
Who would steal a Songbringer's instrument? There was a group of children playing around us earlier, with mischief in their eyes. I will get your harp back, and then you will play. Yes, Mira. Okay. Anlotha looks glum, and she has not touched a drop of mead. Maybe I can raise her spirits. You're not drinking, Gunlotha. I do not care for it. Drink is the heron that steals away one's memory. Some would say it frees the spirit of worry. We call those people drunks. <laughs> I see your wit is as sharp as your intelligence. Wit? I was simply stating a truth. Let us play a game. Ask me some riddles. I will see if I can guess them. I enjoy a good riddle. How did you know? All great minds enjoy riddles. You fashion order from disorder, sense from nonsense. You have me at that. Very well, I will play. Give me an easy one to begin. Would that I had now what I had yesterday. Find out what that was. Mankind it mars, speech it hinders, yet speech it will inspire. I don't know. The answer is courage. No, the answer is ale. I thought you would get that, as you seem so fond of it. Would you like another? Yeah. All right, I'm ready. Who is that shrill one who rides a hard road and has fared that way before? He kisses hard who has two mouths and goes only on gold. I don't know. A hammer. It is a hammer. Well done. I hope that wasn't just a guess. No. One more? Yeah, sure. I feel good about this one. Be prepared. This is the hardest yet. White-haired women, servants too, bore ale tub to the larder. No hand turned it, nor hammer beat it. But there, outside the islands, the upright one who made it. Mm, One more time. I don't know. White haired women, servants too, bore ale tub to the larder. No hand turned it, nor hammer beat it. But there, outside the islands, the upright one who made it. I've got no idea. Uh, I want to say old age. But. That's no. Certainly not trees. It's gotta be swans, right? It can only be swans and eggs. Very clever, hobby. Yes. Well, I don't know. now I, the I, game is over. I, I don't know how that works, but I feel a little better. You are kind to attend to me, Javi. Most have given up trying. I need to empty that cauldron. Then Sutunga will open his vault. Utgarda, the ancient keep of the Yotna. Sutungar's old sway within those walls. Last time I played your game. Agir, mighty friend to the Asid. Are you not sorry to lose your cauldron? It was never mine by right. Thor won it from Hymir so he might feast in my hall. I only kept it on his behalf. And after that bloody business with Hymir's sons, well, I'd as soon be rid of it. I'll have no strife beneath my roof. The end of strife. I'll drink to that. And I'll drink to anything. Last time I played your game, I got so... I should try the archery contest. No doubt they will toast my prowess if I... Greetings, Harvey. Will you test your arm at archery? You must hit three targets in a handful of heartbeats. I can shoot the wings off a wasp. Ah, but can you do it while mead adult? Before each attempt, you must take a drink. I'll take your challenge on one condition. For every drink I take, you take two. Ha! <laughs> That's a condition I'll gladly accept. Are you ready? Show me those targets. Then take a drink and let fly. Okay. Let us hope you hold your beer better than you hold a bow. Fine shot. Now, have a drink and try another. 
Okay. Oh, I, I'm happy I shot the right one. You look a bit wobbly there. Steady eye now. The last one is the hardest. Oh, nice and easy. You look a bit wobbly there. Careful. You are a keen shot, Harvey. Your hand grows steadier with drink where others lose their eye. Another round? Not for me. My belly royal is like a knot of eels. And I see three of you. I think I should walk this off. Yes. I think you should. I'm gonna go find a stolen harp somewhere. Oh. Must we drink to our enemies? An acid. I think I've lost my appetite. Is there any sweeter music than the clash of drinking horns? Loki, not me, friend. My name is Thok. Uh, forgive me. I I thought you were someone else. Too much drink in too little time. The cure for that is sleep. Is that Loki there? Surely he would not dare. Is there any sweeter music than the clash of drinking horns? Give me an enemy. <laughs> Paws off my heart! My turn! My turn! Not you too! You break the strings with your sausage fingers! Nice must have been a pulse. That harp does not belong to you, little thief. You should give it back. What are you gonna do? Fight me for it? Why don't you give me a real challenge? All right. You want this harp? Go dive from that meat. Climb as high as you can, though. I want a big splash. Watch and learn. <laughs> But they won't do it. How many broken bones you think? Fifty at least. Come on. Maybe a hundred. <laughs> There's nothing in here, is there? Nah. And now I'm covered in beer. There. Now give back the harp so the musicians may play. Umius, Harry Balls! That was amazing! You must be half raven! Who taught you such language? Mother? Why? What can I do to get them to drink faster? Well, uh, first we need to get into the, uh, the kitchen. I got, I got your, uh... Oh, no. I think I'll give it back. The cauldron is empty. I should tell Sutunka. Okay. Great Sutunga. Your guests thirst for mead, yet the cauldron is dry. All gone? I never would have thought it possible. Good Father? Open the vault. Instruct the thralls to bring more mead for my guests. Do they really need more, Father? Several are unconscious already. Do as I ask, daughter. Give them all they can drink. As you wish, I will open the vault. None will say that Sutunga is less than generous. None will be capable. Find and get the mead. I, I told you they were foreshadowing something. But yeah, so while I'm recording these for twice a day, these are pretty much, you guys are getting 40 minute episodes with a pretty big break between the two. They're like a pretty, like an intermission. So while that's going on, I have fallen behind on some other things and I need to apologize for that when I go back to record them. I've got Finally, some. the vault is open. The mead awaits within. Am I actually looking for me? 
Gator am I? Or am I breaking in for... There's just food everywhere. Food and arrows. Like, I'm gonna need arrows really bad for some reason. Javi? I, I heard a noise and... What are you doing here? I uh, wanted to speak with you away from the others. I, I brought you something. A gift. For me? Thank you, but why? Fate, Gunlotha. We are helpless to escape it. And we were fated to be here now, together. You and I? How? It makes no sense. The Nordnir spin their patterns, and we can only surrender. We are entwined, spun together. There's perfect sense in that. Your words, your gift, your eyes when you look upon me. You bewilder me, Javi. I do not understand you. Listen and attend. I will show you all you need to know. <laughs> 